This video is part of my video series on how to create a Trezor Bitcoin wallet. In the previous videos, we saw how to order your Trezor device and other things you'd need, how to set up your Trezor device. And in the last video, you saw how to use your Trezor Bitcoin wallet to send and receive Bitcoins. In this video, I'm going to show you the last and the most critical step, how to safely and securely keep your seed recovery card. <laughs> In case you lose your Trezor device or forget the pin, no worries. You can recover your Bitcoin wallet and all the Bitcoins in it on any Trezor device, old or new, from your seed recovery card. As I've mentioned before, your Bitcoins are linked to this seed. The Trezor device kind of simply stores the seed for you securely. So if anyone has access to your seed, they have access to your Bitcoins. So before you send all your Bitcoins to this wallet, let's first store the seed recovery card securely. The basic principles to remember when storing the seed or the seed recovery card are anyone who has the seed can access your Bitcoins. They do not need the Trezor device. The Trezor device is just an interface that stores the seed safely. To use the Trezor device, you need the pin. So if someone has access to your Trezor device and the pin, they have access to your Bitcoins. So the idea should be to keep your seed in a vault in a way that you are sure that no one has access to it or seen it or made a copy of it. You can then keep your treasure in the vault as well or if you need regular access to it, then you can actually keep it more accessible like at your desk or in your bag. Just make sure that you do not keep the pin with the treasure if you decide not to keep the treasure in the vault. If you forget your pin, you can always see the pin from the seed recovery card. And if you have not written the pin anywhere, that's okay as well because you can simply recover your wallet from the seed. I strongly suggest to keep the seed recovery card in a tamper evident bag like this. In this way, even if more than one person has access to your wallet, like your family members, you are sure that no one knowingly or unknowingly has leaked the seed. Because to do so, they would have to open the tamper evident bag and you would come to know that someone else has seen the seed. So let's put the seed recovery card in the tamper evident bag. So take a tamper evident bag. It's a good idea to write down the details on this bag as you will forget it later what's inside. Since it's a PP bag, only markers will work well. A ballpoint pen won't be legible. So let's write the date and the contents on the bag. So I'm writing the date. So I've written the date and the content. So let's seal the bag properly. I also normally do some sort of signature on the seal, but that's really not required. I do this just in case I forget to note the bag number because someone can simply open this bag, copy the seed and use another similar bag. So the handwriting or signature helps me recognize that it's the bag that I created. So I'm going to go ahead, put the recovery seed in the bag. And then over here, just gonna just remove all the air. Seal the bag. Once you seal the bag, I also recommend you take a photograph of the bag so you can keep a track of the bag number or you can write down the bag number and keep a record of it in your diary or your laptop. So now all you have to do is put this bag in your vault, ideally a fireproof vault and that's it. In addition, if you want to store the seed at more than one location or with a trusted family or friend, the tamper evident bag becomes a must. You can make a copy of the seed recovery card, put it in another tamper evident bag, make a note of the bag number and give the bag for safekeeping to your trusted person. You can then periodically, like once in three months, ask this person to send you a pic or a video of the bag to know that the bag is not tampered with. This way, you have a backup of the seed at another location also. And with the tamper evident bag, you can be sure that the seed has not been exposed in that other location knowingly or unknowingly. Once this is done, that's it. Set up, done. You have set up your Trezor device done a recovery seed check, done a test transaction and safely stored the seed. With the setup that you have just done, you are in a very, very secure place. You can be at peace that the Bitcoins you have bought with your hard-earned money will be safe and available to you when you want it. So now go ahead and transfer all your exchange wallet Bitcoins to your Trezor wallet. Although Trezor does support some other cryptos, I strongly believe that Bitcoin is far ahead than any other crypto. 
so I only cover Bitcoin in my videos. I understand that setting up this wallet might seem a bit daunting to some of you, but just think about it. You just learned how to create your own bank, store your own money on a payment network that runs 24 7, 365 days and you did it within an hour. There was no geeky tech involved. In fact, the learning curve was lesser than trying to learn how to use a new mobile phone. Many friends and family I know who have bought Bitcoins do not spend the time and effort it takes to have your own Bitcoin wallet. Unfortunately, they won't realize the importance till their exchange gets hacked. You saw that it's just about knowing what to do. There is no geeky stuff in the above process at all. There is no excuse not to have your own Bitcoin wallet and control your own Bitcoins. As Andreas Antonopoulos, a famous Bitcoiner said, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. So go ahead, take control of your Bitcoin by setting up your own Bitcoin wallet powered by Trezor. If I had to recommend one way to create a Bitcoin wallet to my friends, this would be it. I cannot wait for you to feel the freedom and the peace of mind that comes with controlling and storing your Bitcoin. And I'm so happy that you have reached all the way till the end in this video series. Please like and share this video and do not forget to hit the subscribe button to keep a track of my future videos. Thank you for watching Sunny Bitcoin. See you in the next one.